Hey guys, this is Nick Morse. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video of my upcoming song that I'm working on with Sarah. Um, I've been noticing my subscribers going up, and I just wanted to kind of give a little, a uh, little bit of a preview of a song I'm working on, and basically show that. Because a lot of people seem amazed about. I'm not saying my music's great, but a lot of people seem surprised that my music was made in FL Studio, and I'm just trying to show that especially the song I have coming up here, that it can be done and it can sound pretty good. It's not really about the host like I've read elsewhere. It's about how you do it and what plugins you use, not really the host. Um, so this is a preview of my coming track. It's untitled as it is, and the melody's not finished, the structure's not finished, so please don't judge it off that. But I am really proud of the way it sounds, and I'm really proud of uh, where it might take me. So uh, enjoy. Okay, here's what the song looks like right now. Um, <clears throat> there's obviously a lot of things going on. And I, I just started this, I think, a week ago, and I still I already have a bunch of stuff. Um, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see everything there. There's all the different envelopes changing. 
really the big secret I figured out is first of all compression which I mean you should leave to the professionals once you start getting a little bit better but for the time being if you want that to achieve a sort of professional sounding sound you can use a, a temporary compression tool I'm using one called sound goodizer which actually I think comes with the new version of FL studio now I mean this should not be used if you're going to submit this to a label or if you're going to use this you know if you're going to actually be a, a real producer <laughs> you shouldn't be using these tools but you know for now if you just want it to sound better I'm also using the multiband compressor of course uh, equalizer is important but you really should just equalize individual elements instead of the entire song um, I'm going to play each part by itself and then I'm going to play the entire song just a few parts of the entire song and uh, Feel free to leave me your feedback and tell me what you think. Here's the drum beat without the kick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> especially on trance music and stuff like that that goes by 4x4 four four beats definitely try to use side chaining especially on um, the bass as well very 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 important um, it just really helps the overall feeling of the song it also helps the actual dynamics of the song if your kick is getting overrun by the bass then it's not going to sound very good but if you have side chaining on which I'm using a plugin called gross beat for side chaining here <coughs> um, it gives the, the kick room and then the bass kind of fades in each each time after the kick and you can still do whatever you want to it, here's the notes for the bass and here's what I'm talking about, the sound of it see how it kind of slides in here's the hissing kick, of course. Symbol. basically <laughs> almost the entire song right there just being played in different little pieces so I'm going to let you hear what I have so far uh, I didn't play the vocals by Sarah yet because I didn't want to but another thing that's really big about the vocals in trance and you don't have to do this every time but it does sound good is to also side chain the reverb which there's not really a way to do it normally but if you go to the effects and then add reverb you know whatever plugin you use I use Fruity right now but I do need a new one um, if you right click on the actual you know, percentage of the reverb itself and go to create automation clip well actually you can do it that way or you can edit the events you see here I actually have the reverb going in and out after every kick which is basically side chaining that way when she sings you can understand what she says but there's a whole bunch of reverb but the reverb doesn't override everything and it sounds really really cool so without further ado here's the preview <laughs> 